welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Saturday, so that means it is grocery haul day. I have quite the haul again this week for you. I actually visited three stores, Walmart, Trader Joe's, and Fred Meyer found a few new things. Really excited for this week's meal plan and what I'm doing for meal prep. So I have lots of good things in store for you. So if you wanna see what I picked up for the week, following a clean approach to WW, as well as what's on the plan for my meals and meal prep, stay tuned. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Up first is my really small Walmart pickup. What's not shown is a case of water. Look at what's happening. Oh, you missed it. She was on her back with her toy. So if you hear squeaking, she's the culprit. So I did grab just a small load from Walmart pickup. So I got these little cans of Coke Zero Cherry. I actually wanted the feisty cherry tall skinny cans. They didn't have it, so they substituted. I have not really been drinking pop at all, so I wanted to have a smaller can, just in case one day I just wanted some pop. So they actually gave me two six packs for the price of one of the tall feisty cherries, so I'll take it. And then for myself, I grabbed some organic string mozzarella cheese. I also got some more at uh, Fred Meyer, but these are from Walmart. Some tomatoes, my husband wants tacos in his lunches, so just some tomatoes for that. A couple of cans of olives for those tacos. I really like these sliced ones, it just makes my life a lot easier when I make the tacos. And then some Daisy sour cream, this is for his tacos, and then just for us to have on hand. And I grabbed some frozen veggies, they have the best price on the organic frozen veggies at Walmart. So I have two of the steamable California blend, and then one of the organic broccoli. So that's it from Walmart. Let's jump in to Trader Joe's. First, I went ahead and picked up some taco shells. Now the taco shells at Trader Joe's, you guys, have really, really good ingredients. So good that they're even made with expeller pressed oil, which is amazing to see in taco shells. So I grabbed these because my husband has been asking for tacos. So I wanna have those on hand. Also, I grabbed some honey roasted almonds. This is for an upcoming recipe. I'm also very excited to announce that I'm going to be doing a smoothie bowl video where I'm gonna show you five to seven different smoothie bowls, and these are great to add to that. So these are just the honey roasted almonds sliced from Trader Joe's. Also, I grabbed some full fat organic crumbled feta cheese. This is for an upcoming recipe. I'll take the points for the full fat. I think it tastes a lot better, and this being organic is even a better choice. Also, some organic reduced fat coconut milk. Now, with coconut milk, I went ahead and grabbed and looked at both the full fat and the reduced fat because I was curious about the ingredients. They're both made with water and organic coconut. So I thought I would save the fat and points by picking up the reduced fat. This is for a recipe. Also another container of my Trader Joe's organic raw honey. I'm running pretty low and I am obsessed with this. Also obsessed with cauliflower gnocchi. Again, great, great, great ingredients on this. So I went ahead and picked up two more bags to throw in the freezer. Even my husband loves it. It's funny, I told him last night, I said, we're gonna have gnocchi with our meatloaf. He didn't even know that it was cauliflower and ate it right up. So two more bags of that. The rest is produce, but the only thing with points is actually going to be sweet potatoes. So this is a big bag of organic sweet potatoes. Another thing I'm going to be trying out per a lot of your guys' requests are bootables. So I'm going to be making some bootables. So I needed the sweet potatoes for that. The rest of the produce is zero point. So a big bag of limes. You do not have to buy limes organic necessarily because the rind on the lime prevents the pesticides from getting into the actual fruit itself. This is for my water. Also some frozen pineapple tidbits. Again, does not have to be organic due to the rind on the pineapple. This is for smoothies, smoothie bowls, organic zucchini squash. This is for lunch meal prep. And then we have been loving roasted vegetables. So I wanted to make sure I had some of this on hand for that. Same with the cut butternut squash. Okay, you guys, if you have a Costco near you, the butternut squash at Costco, not only is it organic, but you get like four times this amount for double the price. This was like $3, and I wanna say it's $7 at Costco for tons and tons of it, but I did not go to Costco this week, so I picked this up just to roast, and also this is good to put in bootables or nourish bowls as well. 
shaved Brussels sprouts for a recipe. Trader Joe's did not have organic shaved, which I was a little bummed, but I didn't want to have to cut them up myself, so I just went ahead and grabbed the shaved. Also for salads, I grabbed some organic romaine lettuce, smoothies, smoothie bowls. I have some organic baby spinach and this organic Tuscan kale. Now this kale is the kind that I showed you guys before. Tuscan kale is the best one to get because it makes great kale chips and it's a little softer for salads and smoothies. So I've been just throwing this in a little bag in the freezer for smoothies and things. So make sure too that you get organic in the kale and spinach just because they are really, really full of pesticides and are top on the Dirty Dozen list. Lots of onions. I have a sweet onion and two red onion. And then I grabbed a papaya because it sounded amazing. And I'm so bummed, you guys. Fruit is so expensive right now. I can't wait for summer. So I tried to get something that was reasonable. And I want to say this was about $3 at Trader Joe's. And then some organic celery for a recipe. So that is everything at Trader Joe's. And then my last stop for the week was at Fred Meyer. And lastly is my haul from Fred Meyer. I found a couple of new things that I'm pretty excited about. So let me show you what I picked up. I'm going to show you a few non-food things just because they're kind of fun. And then we'll jump into the food. So Fred Meyer had their candles, buy one, get one half off. And I really like this Tuscany brand. I got these for $8.99 and then half off the second one. This lemon sugar cookie smells amazing. And then I got Lakeside View also smells amazing. So kind of getting ready for summer, those kind of fresh fragrances. And then I actually really like this hairspray for when I want just a really light hold in between washings. This is the Schwarzkopf got to be Fleck Instant Hold Hairspray awesome and i had a great coupon for this i want to say it was like three dollars really really good flexible hold hairspray and then i'm a sucker you guys for measuring cups and spoons i'm a sucker and i bought the measuring cups last time if you remember seeing those of this kind of boho chic oh, it's so cute these you guys were 3.99 I, I couldn't pass it up for that price so i grabbed those too now let's get into the food also, been loving the cauliflower, new chick on the block. So I picked up two bags this week. I have the spicy-ish chicken tenders. You guys, these are really good. They're chicken breaded with rice flour, cauliflower, and brown rice flour. And they are basically one smart point per chicken, which is not bad at all. I like to throw them in my air fryer, and then I have them with some veggies. Really, really good. They have decent ingredients. Now, are the ingredients perfect? No, but they are decent. I don't eat them every day. It's just kind of a convenience food, and it is hard to find a decent ingredient, low point convenience food, so this is what I've chosen. So I have the spicy-ish, and then I also just have the traditional, which I really, really like. Love, love, love these. If you can find these at your local store, highly recommend. Also, another dozen happy eggs. We're running kind of low on eggs, so I picked that up. Shrimp, I have a recipe with shrimp. You guys have seen me haul this lots of times. This is the Private Selection Buttery Lobster Taste and Texture Argentine Red Shrimp. So good. We love this shrimp. They're huge, and they're so soft and delicious. Yum. Highly recommend these shrimp as well. Some more, La, some more La Tortilla Factory low-carb tortillas. You guys know I love these. These are two smart points a piece and have stellar ingredients. So I no longer have the Olay wraps or any other type of wrap because I actually really like these. And again, they have really, 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 really good ingredients. So I grabbed those for an upcoming recipe. Some peppercorns from the bulk section. I just needed a few for a recipe and you guys know I just check out the bulk section when I don't need a lot of a spice and these are organic and I it cost me 54 cents so can't beat that I also grabbed some whole earth sweetener you guys saw that I had the stevia Splenda sweetener not a good option so I grabbed these just in case I wanted them for my coffee or if a recipe does call for a packet of sweetener this is stevia leaf and monk fruit so this is a, a good option uh, for a sweetener alternative and then I grabbed some veggie broth. This is to cook my quinoa in. You guys, quinoa tastes so much better cooked in broth. So I picked up this organic veggie broth. Again, the Pacific brand has the best ingredients for vegetable broth. Even better than the, I don't know what it's called, Inspire or one that one that's really expensive. This one has better ingredients, much, much better ingredients. And then diced green chilies. This is for an upcoming recipe. 
And thank you to those of you, when you saw me haul the Campbell soup, said, by Pacific, they sell soup in a box. So I found cream of mushroom condensed soup, which is amazing, great ingredients, and I need this for a recipe. So thank you, thank you for all of you that suggested the Pacific brand for soup alternative to Campbell's. So thank you. This is a new find for me. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. This is a new find for me. Okay, so I have been looking for ice cream or some sort of sweet that I want to eat following a clean diet. So I saw this and I scanned it and each cookie is only two points. Now this is just the dough, so you actually have to bake it, but it's vegan non-GMO cookie dough. So I thought, oh, two points is great for a cookie. Now, once I got up to the checkout, I started taking a little bit closer. You guys can't really see it very well, but started taking a little bit closer. Look at the ingredients. Not the best, not terrible because it's vegan, but not the best. So I wanted to have this on hand. I want to try it, give it a shot. It was $6 for this little tub of cookie dough. So we shall see. I'll definitely report back on that. But if you're looking for a cookie dough, this is really the best option, unless you just kind of make it yourself. But Anyways, I had to pick that up just to give it a try. Some enchilada sauce. Again, not necessary to buy organic. This one has pretty good ingredients and is great on smart points. I also grabbed a container of coconut water for smoothies. So there's a couple of smoothies that I wanna make that you can use coconut water as the base. So this is just the Simple Truth Organic Original Coconut Oil. I grabbed another container of my butter. You guys, I love, love, love this butter. It's so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This is the Melt Organic Rich and Creamy Plant-Based Butter. Delicious. Also, some more string cheese for myself. I wanted to try the Walmart brand, and then I wanted to try an actual kind of fancier, more expensive organic brand. This is the Horizon. I had a coupon, so I'm going to give this a try and see which string cheese I like better. I'm not eating light cheese really anymore at all, so I, this is just a full fat one, and I'm excited to try it. And then I also grabbed some Simple Truth Oven Roasted Turkey Breast. I bought this and did not get it the one at Trader Joe's that I normally get. I'll insert a picture here. If you guys are looking for the cleanest turkey, it is the one from Trader Joe's. So this one is okay. I had a coupon for it. I thought I'd give it a shot, but look, it actually has, well, it has honey in it, organic honey. So it has sugar in it, which is interesting, but it has no carbs. So there's probably just a very, very trace amount of honey, but I just wanted a uh, turkey on hand. This is zero smart points. It's 25 calories per slice. I like to put this in a wrap sometimes, so I grabbed it. But in the future, I will be buying it at Trader Joe's because it's literally just turkey breast. That's it. So anyways, just a little food for thought. And then I grabbed some sumo mandarins. I've actually never had these, but again, fruit is insanely expensive and Okay, so I saw these and they were $2.50 a pound and I'm like, okay, that's not bad. I'll just go ahead and pick up like three of them, you guys. It was seven over $7 for these three mandarins on sale. So crazy, but I'm gonna try them and I don't know if I'm gonna like them. If you've had these, comment down below. Let me know kind of what you would compare these to. So that is gonna be one of my other fruits for the week for $7. And then lastly, I just picked up a couple of fresh herbs. So some organic baby dill for a recipe and some organic Italian parsley. So that is everything that I picked up from Fred Meyer. So let's get into my meal plan and meal prep. All right, so I'm gonna try this. I just had some lunch and I'm gonna try this and let you guys know what I think taste wise for it being a vegan cookie dough. All right, so here is what it looks like. So it looks like legit cookie dough. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Is this so good? Okay. Delish. All right, let's jump into this week's meal plan. I will be showing you guys my meal planner, my carry out at the end, so stay tuned for that. But here is what is on my menu for the week. So this is the week of March 7th through March 13th. Can you believe March is almost half over? That's so crazy. So Saturday is my day that I use my weeklies. It is a non-tracking day for me. So my husband and I always go out for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So I don't worry about planning out any meals for Saturday. Sunday, I'm going to be making beef and rice enchiladas. I'm excited about this. I've been kind of craving some good Mexican food, so that is Sunday's plan. 
Monday is a leftover night because it is a jazzercise night. Tuesday, I'm gonna be doing a slow cooker balsamic chicken. I've got some errands and things to do on Tuesday as well as a nail appointment. So I thought it would be great just to throw something quick and easy into the crock pot. Wednesday, again, is leftovers due to it being a jazzercise night. Thursday, I'm gonna be making Salisbury steak. I can't wait for this recipe. And then Friday, I'm gonna be doing a sheet pan shrimp scampi. I thought we'd have a little fancy, bougie dinner for a Friday night, so that's what I'm doing for Friday. And then on the back is where I plan out what I'm doing for my meal prep. So for meal prep this week, for breakfast, I'm going to be making a sausage and pepper egg bake. This sounds so good. I'm just going to pair this with some fruit, maybe a slice of toast. It's going to be a really good, clean breakfast. Lunches, I'm gonna be doing a avocado chicken salad. I can't wait for this. I love avocados, so this is going to be a really good lunch. And then for a snack, I'm gonna be making a peanut butter and honey oat bar. So essentially I'm going to be making kind of a dessert slash granola bar. So I'm really excited about that recipe as well. So you will see all of these meal prep recipes on Monday. So as promised, this is my meal planner, you guys. I love my meal planner so much. This is my brand new cover, new in 2020. This is the Carrie L meal planner. If you guys do not have one of these, run. Don't walk and pick this up. It is seriously the best, most comprehensive, easy way to plan meals. Stay on track and know what you need to buy at the grocery store. So it is gorgeous on top of that, but there are several tabs for you to use. Like I said, this is brand new. It's my second week using it. So I plan on diving into these tabs myself as time goes on. So the first tab is the resources tab, and that's where you're just gonna log your favorite meal planning blogs and recipe sites. You can take notes, really whatever you wanted to jot down in this section. And like I said, everything is just so beautiful and well done. I seriously love it. There's always a baking substitutions page, which is really nice. And then the orange tab is a place for you to inventory. So I am doing that this year for sure. You can inventory what is in your freezer and the date that you froze it. Also, there is a pantry inventory. I need this. You guys have seen my pantry. It gets a little out of control. So there is a place for you to do your pantry. And then also a spice inventory, which this is another place that I think that we forget about. And some of our spices sit in our cupboard for months, if not years. So this is a great resource as well. The meal plans tab, this is the one we just were in. Every month there is a monthly calendar. This is where you can plan your meals, breakfast, lunch, dinners, whatever you'd like out for the entire month. I love it because I know on Sunday I'm having beef and rice enchiladas. So on Saturday, I'm going to pull out whatever meat I need and make sure that I have all of the ingredients on hand. So it's just really, truly a great resource to have it all at a month glance. And then each week you have a weekly menu. And one change this year for Carry Out is they now list out breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Now I just track my dinner because I meal prep, but you can actually plan out all of your meals and snacks for the day, which is genius. Really, really wise move. Good job, Carrie L. But you're gonna plan out your meals and then every week you have a detachable grocery list. You take it off and you bring it with you to the grocery store. So you'll see mine's gone because I do use it every single week. So love it. The colors change, the decor changes. It's just a really, truly a beautiful meal planner. And then is the gatherings tab. Now this is gonna look similar to the meal planning because this is to plan events, birthdays, holiday parties, Christmas, Thanksgiving. You plan out the food that you're going to be serving and then you have a detachable grocery list just like the weekly plan for your groceries. Love it. I've used this several times in my last meal planner. And then there is the notes section, and this is just some fun lined paper for you to take notes, jot down recipes, whatever you wanna use it for. And then in the back is the cute little two-sided folder that's in every Carrie L meal planner. I use this a lot. I usually slip my recipes for the week in there, and then everything's just right on hand when I'm ready to make my meals. So that is the Carrie L meal planner. I actually do have 10% off. I will go ahead and put that code here on the screen. You do actually have to click the link down in the description box, and then from the link is where you can enter the code. You can't just use the code without the link, but make sure that you check out the link down below and use the code here on the screen. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Clean Eating 
grocery haul. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot what I was saying. I had so much fun shopping this week, perusing the store, trying to find some new fun things to share with you. I'm really excited about that vegan chocolate chip peanut butter cookie dough, even though the ingredients aren't as good as I would like to see. And of course my cauliflower chicken, I love it so much. I'm excited for both of those. I can't wait to share this week's meals and meal prep with you. Meal prep will be up on Monday on my channel as always. And I'm actually doing a special video this week where I'm going to be filming a clean eating dessert. And I'm so excited because it has chocolate in it. So what could be better than chocolate and dessert and clean eating? So definitely keep your eye out for that. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss a single video. Give this one a thumbs up if you love grocery hauls. And of course, leave your comments down below. I can't wait to hear what you guys are most excited about for this week. Thank you again so much for taking time out of your weekend to watch, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!